Are you smarter than a kindergartner? <laughs> By the laughter, I take that as a yes. Have you ever asked a kindergartner what they're afraid of? By a show of hands, how many of you here graduated from kindergarten? Okay, one, two. All right. Impressive. <laughs> because if you raised your hand, and in fact, the records indicate that you did in fact graduate from kindergarten, it is all you ever needed to conquer the world. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I live by the mantra that all I really needed to know, I learned in kindergarten. Because when you're five years old, life's answers are simple. Life's challenges are simple. But the things that five-year-olds can tell us are very simple, prophetic, and quite honestly, significant. And unbeknownst to you all, kindergarten is the home of the rebels. So, allow me to introduce to you the most, the most rebellious person I know. <laughs> this is my son, George Edward Rice IV. No, he's not a king yet. Um, <laughs> But when my son was five years old, he asked me to come up and he said, Dad, would you tuck me in? I said, absolutely. Great father bonding time is a beautiful summer evening in, in Maryland. It's beautiful. So as I come in, I say, CJ. We call him CJ because that's, that's one of my nicknames. We call him Pop because he has an old soul. <laughs> so I simply say to him, Pop, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he paused, and he looked around everywhere, but in my eyes. I said, okay, maybe he didn't hear me. I don't speak very loudly sometimes myself. So I asked him one more time. I said, Pop. He said, yes. I said, what do you want to be when you grow up? Still no answer. So I asked a third time. I said, Pop. He said, yes. I said, what do you want to be when you grow up? And so he raised his hands over his head. And he rested them on the back of his head. <laughs> he took a deep breath. <sighs> I guess he had a hard day at work, I don't know. <laughs> and I said, Pop, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he took the time and he looked me right in my eye. And you know what he said? Six. <laughs> See, understand that at five years old, there are some things that are significant with the number five. There are five fingers that make a powerful fist. Five days complete a work week. Five senses that make our lives, our life's experiences phenomenal. 500 million options in our mother's womb. And we've been granted the opportunity to beat 499 other million swimmers. So from the time we took our first breath, we were already rebellious. So understand that we are rebels by nature. And even though I wasn't expecting this philosophical and prophetic answer of six from my son, one thing I learned about rebels is this. Rebels speak their minds. A little bit earlier, I asked you all if you were smarter than a kindergartner, and if I insulted anybody, I do apologize. I also asked you, had you ever asked a kindergartner what they were afraid of? And here's the funny thing about being five. If you go to any classroom, any kindergarten classroom across the world, okay, and again, let me, let me, let me pause for a second, a personal privilege. Things I do are very in interactive, so if, if I start something and I want you to finish a phrase, I just want you to finish the phrase for me, okay? But here's the thing about going into a kindergarten class. If you ever ask a kindergartner what they're afraid of, 
most of them might say, well, the dog next door, or um, I'm afraid of the dark, or Brussels sprouts. I mean, I don't know. But one thing you'll never hear them say that they're afraid of is failure. <laughs> so, if we all graduated from kindergarten, indulging for one second. So if you go to any kindergarten classroom in the world, the first thing they tell you to do is crisscross. Phenomenal. <laughs> and one thing is if you go to a kindergarten classroom and you ask any of the kids any question, you will get 100% participation. Who in here can dance? Oh, me. Oh, me, 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 I can do it. Oh. Who can draw me a favorite picture of their favorite character? Oh, I can do that. Who can draw me a picture of a favorite animal? Oh, I can do that. Who in here can sing? And the first person asks, You bring my heart up when the rest of me is down. Okay, so. <laughs> but what's funny about it is when you talk about the things that you ask a kindergartner to do, there's never any fear of failure, just a fear of being ignored. A fear of being ignored. And when we talk about the word rebel, it, has five, it just happens to have five letters. And so I broke it down for you. So it says, risking everything beyond expected limitations. Risking everything beyond expected limitations. And when I told you about my son, he risked everything beyond the, lim the expected limitation that I have of him but he actually went a little bit deeper because at six years old, he had no fear of growing old. He had a fear of not maximizing the present. And the second thing we have to understand is that rebels value the present. They value the present. So understand when we talk about being rebellious, there are certain things that we have to understand. When my son was 10 years old, me and my son uh, practiced Shaolin Kung Fu. We are both black belt, first degree black belts. And so when my son was 10 years old, we got ready to go on our run. One of the, one of the parts of our exam is that we have, to, we have to run three miles in less than 30 minutes. And so my son is a quiet spirit, I, I guarantee you. If you ever meet him, you know. And so as we're running, I said, Pop, we're going to kick the miles up to three miles today. And without one moment's pause, he said, challenge accepted. So I'm like, wow, let me run a little bit faster here. <laughs> but here's the funny thing about when he said challenge accepted. There was no pause at all. And one thing we have to understand is that when I was putting this talk together, they said, well, what makes the rebelliousness go away? And I said, in this game of life, there are five files that we commit. The first file is that we don't know who we are. Second file is we don't know what we value. Third file is we refuse to ask for help. Number four, we allow the opinions and thoughts of others to affect us. And number five, we fail and give up versus fail and give more. Now, Friedrich Froebel is credited with giving. He coined the term kindergarten because he felt like children should be nurtured like plants in a garden. Okay? This was back in 1840. And one thing we have to understand, Rick Pitino is a favorite coach of mine. He says, failure is our fertilizer. So when we talk about being rebellious, here it is as, as we're getting ready. He's getting ready to receive his, his black belt. One thing we have to understand about rebels is this. The risk is the reward. The risk is the reward. For one moment, indulge me. I want everybody to close their eyes for just one second. Except the cameraman. Don't close your eyes. And I want you to think back to when you were five years old. What was it like? What did you look like? What did you talk like? Did you offer to sing or dance? What did you dream of becoming? What was it like when you were five years old? You can open your eyes now. And one thing we have to understand is that everybody said they graduated from kindergarten, and I believe you, I surely do. And one of the first things you, and, and again, I said, this is part audience participation. I want you to understand that one of the first things you learned was the hokey pokey, okay? Let's start with our right hand. Let's finish it for me. You put your right hand, you put your right hand, you put your right hand, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Hey! 
And so the thing about it is you say, okay, all I need to know, and I learned in kindergarten, and the one thing about it is if we were rebellious, if we're really going to live as rebels, we have to put our whole selves in. By the show of hands, how many of you all said you graduated from kindergarten? Absolutely extraordinary. So I'll simply ask you this question. What do you want to be when you grow up? A rebel by nature or a champion by choice? What do you want to be when you grow up? A legend of challenge accepted or challenge rejected? Because again, we talk about putting our whole selves in. We put our whole selves in, it's a brand new risk. We take our whole selves out, we're getting rid of all the fears. We put our whole selves in, brand new rewards, and we shake it all about. That means we shake off any challenges, any failures. We do the hokey pokey and we turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Will you invest in excellence or excuses? What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to be a rule maker or a rule breaker? Because rules were made to be broken, but rebels were not. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? My challenge to you is to be alive, to be human, be rebellious.